This presentation will show how the email trigger functionality can be invoked from SAP during sales order entry. So we'll begin creating a standard sales order. We'll enter a sold to party as well as a ship to party. We'll put a value in the PO number field and then enter a material with a quantity. And the email trigger functionality can be invoked from the credit card field on the sales overview screen or, as we'll do here, you can navigate to the payment card header screen and invoke it from the card number field here. Now we've enhanced SAP so that if you hit the pull down field it will invoke the email trigger functionality and that opens up this browser session in which the customer service agent would enter the email address of the customer. Here we have a generic paymetric.customer gmail account. The email is sent to the customer. Then we'll open up that email account, look at the email, and there's a link there where if they click on that, the Paymetric XI Intercept solution will open and allow the end customer to enter their card details on their own device, whether that's a laptop or a mobile device. So we'll enter a dummy Visa card number here with an expiration date in the future. And you can also allow for the capture of the CVV and the cardholder name. And once all that information has been captured and the customer clicks on submit, then the information is sent to the merchant's tokenization account at Paymetric. The card number is tokenized. And then the CSR is informed that they can go click on the pull down one more time and retrieve that information from the merchant's tokenization account at Paymetric. And you see those card details are now populated in the correct fields in SAP. At that point, you simply back out of the sales order. You hit save. That information is used to perform an authorization and the transaction continues as it normally would.